Hey everyone, Rodev here and welcome back to another video for the simulator series where today we're going to be uh, creating the player size and saving the player storage. So uh, basically, uh, real quick, um, if this is your first time watching the simulator series, go to the top right of the video and go ahead and click the i card to go back to the first uh, episode. But if you are a regular here, um, let's get right into it. So first of all, if you watch the series every day, um, this new update will come out and uh, if you click it and you'll get a prompt that says grant permission if you click grant permission and it works that's great but for me um i don't obviously don't own the sound so i can't grant permission so basically we're gonna have to get new sounds so let's go to the toolbox search up um you know something like music and pick something out the thing is all of roblox's sounds really aren't good for simulator games it's just to have in the background so um honestly i have no idea what i'm gonna do i found this one right here I'm also give you guys the ID if you like it. Uh, right there, it's gonna be one eight three nine five zero three eight zero eight, and basically I'm just gonna be using it. Um, not really much we can do about Roblox removing um access to private sounds. Well, yeah, now they allow people to private their sounds. So, yeah, just go ahead and create a new sound or not create, but insert a new sound. Do the same things to it. Make sure it's looped. Make sure it's set to playing, and that's all we really need to do. You can also play around with the volume if you need to. So uh, now that that's cleared up, we can go into the video. Um, in the leader stats, I've added a few more things. So just go ahead and copy this through. I'm gonna just give you guys a quick rundown. So this is the entire function, just add it in. So after line two, go down one and then start, uh, you know, just put in this function here. So local function update player size. Um, you don't even have to have this here. So just in there, type player. And then uh, we don't have to have this here either. I'm just gonna make it easier for you guys. So that's all you guys need to type. Just go ahead and put all of this in. Remember to you know get the stars, which is gonna be a shift eight on most keyboards. Um, you know things like uh, colons um, over here. That's gonna be um, yeah just the colon. Uh, you can find it and you can use it. Make sure you don't put dots instead, since that's what most people do, and it's really annoying when people are in the description like it's not working, but they actually just put a dot instead of a colon. So make sure you're good there if you have any issues. Um, yeah, basically what this is going to do is set the player's uh, well, size based on their strength or based on how much strength they have in comparison to their storage. And um, yeah, the player camera is set. We also made sure the proximity prompt is still um, activatable from whatever size you're on. So this is a you know, really good script. I, all, I made it with pretty much no errors. So it was really easy, so I'm really happy about that. You guys can go ahead and copy it. And once you're done that, obviously go back and pause the video if you need to. But once you're done done that, you can come down here and over here type player.characteradded colon connect function. Make sure you get the brackets and the end and then type update player size player. And then go down here, do it once more. Strength colon get property change strict uh, signal uh, value. Make sure it's a capital V. And then we do connect function. Same thing with the brackets and the end. And then we can do update player size and then player. So other than that, that's it for the leader stat script. Now in save stats, a few changes. You can go down to line 13 and basically just make sure you type this out inside the if data then. So yeah, um, from line 13, go ahead and delete everything to the end. Uh, and then from there, just go ahead and type this out. And uh, down here, I think I've created this. Uh, you don't have to type all of this. In fact, I'm just going to remove it. Uh, this is all you have to type. So if V is an int value, then you can go ahead and do that. Actually, you need to type this whole thing here um, after this. So yeah, so now there's two. And basically, it'll all just save to the data store. And yeah, storage, is, uh, storage will now be saved. So from there, the player sizing will work. I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate it. And spawn it in with the horrible background users. So basically I'm 6 out of 6, that means 100%, if I sell, 0%, but I made 0 just set you to 1, and if I go to 2, uh, 2 divided by 6 is whatever it is, times uh, the amount, I think it's 50, so that we don't get too big, um, that's going to be your size, but you can make a print, it's not there anymore, but yeah, basically it will make you bigger based on how much you have out of your maximum, so the more you upgrade, so say, say I have 2 strength and I upgrade my backpack, I'm actually going to get smaller, and uh, real quick, the cell, it, basically it just, um, we change the max activation distance, so in simple terms, max, uh, max activation distance, self-explanatory, but it's basically how far away we can be. 
And really sorry if this music is um, being just annoying. Let me turn it off real quick. Um, so yeah, basically, proximity problem also gets changed. Our camera is actually also getting messed around with. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Player sizing now works. And other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for part 5. See you guys in the next one. It's Rotev. Peace.